Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use Code Llama to chat locally to your local repo, to your local code, ask questions about it, get answers in return. We're getting very close in the days where developers won't have to write any more documentation. Uh, basically the AI will just read all the source code and then anytime you want, anyone can just ask a question, how do you do X, Y, Z in the source code? And the answer will just be provided. The AI will have already read it. It'll be able to produce a really great answer with examples. We're getting really close. It's super exciting. So let's dive in. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what you're going to see here, here are all the packages that we're going to be using. And you'll see those as we continue to build the code out. The first thing you need to do is build a .env file. And in this file, you're going to put your OpenAI API key. This is not a real key. It's just an example here. Let's pop back over here to our main. The first thing that we're going to do is do a .env.load.env. Uh, That's going to load our, envir our environment variable that we set right here. It's never good to put your uh, API key in your source code. You could accidentally check it in. Never a good idea. Let's go ahead and set up our repo path. This I've already downloaded the Langchain uh, master repo that's sitting here in this directory. This is going to be the one that we are actually going to be asking questions on and asking uh, Code Llama, please give us some answers on. What we're going to do next here is create the generic loader. We need to give it the, the full path of the actual source code. Glob, that's going to tell it where to search. We're, we're searching everything, recursive search. Suffixes, we're looking at uh, Python files only. And then we're going to tell it to parse uh, Python using the, the language.python parser. And the threshold is going to be 500. And then we're going to load those into the documents variable. Next step here is we need to work on splitting. We need to split up these documents into chunks in order for us, uh, in order for the LLM to use them. We set chunk size, we set the chunk overlap, and we set what language it is. At this moment here, we're going to be, we need to store those documents that have been created. And we're going to be doing that in OpenAI uh, embeddings to do that work. Here is the max marginal relevance of search type and search arguments. Uh, chunks to receive is eight. Now that we've stored all the documents, next step is we need to set up the streaming uh, callback to actually use uh, Llama CPP. Here is the model that we're going to be using, code Llama. 13b. Let me show you where to get those. You can just come here to this website, huggingface.co, the bloke, and you can find this reference here in this example on Langchain where it says open source LLMs, and it tells you here the link to check out the models and download uh, whatever model that you want. I actually downloaded this one, Code Llama 13b Instruct Q4KM. So we give it a path to the model. This is going to be the maximum context size, 5,000. I'm not going to be using any GPUs on this, so it, it will run a bit slower. The max number of prompt tokens is going to be 512. We must use half precision. This is, uh, it needs to be, actually has to be true. And then we're going to enable uh, streaming on the output. And now we're actually ready to set up the template. Now that, we're, now that the LLM is all set up, let's set that template up. So we're going to do some, use some special uh, tokens here, inst and then whack uh, slash inst on the end. A system prompt will be between these two special tokens. Context, we'll pass in the context, and then user will we'll pass in the question. So we're setting up uh, the system prompt here. Hey, you're an expert in software engineering. You will use the provided context to answer the user's questions. Basically, don't make things up and do it step by step. If you're unable to answer, just tell me and give me the context of why you couldn't answer. And then we're going to set up, use the prompt template uh, object to set up the question and answer chain prompt. Finally, let's set up our question. So how can I initialize a React agent? And we need to retrieve the docs that we've already set up before with the retriever up here, where we stored all the documents. Now we're going to pull out the relevant documents to be able to answer this question. Now we're going to set up the chain. So we're loading, uh, this is the load question and answer chain. It needs an LLM, chain type of stuff, and then it's going to need the prompt that we've set up here in our object. And then finally, we're going to call it. So chain, our input docs are the docs. The question is the question. And return only output equals true. And let's see how this looks.
And here's the answer that we got back. Uh, to initialize a React agent, you'll need to provide the following information. This spec, that spec, uh, language model, additional configuration. And then it starts providing for you the actual Python code to do this work. Pretty incredible. Thanks for watching the video. If you found value, please subscribe and like. Thank you.